All right, there is a talent exodus at Goldman Sachs. We've been reporting on that now for weeks, if not months, and we're now learning yet another person has decided to leave. Partner Lisa Opoku joining the growing number of executives to get promotions or get prominent new assignments over the past year, only to depart after getting those assignments. Sri Natarajan all over this story. And let's start off with Lisa. She was a partner of the family office, right, uh, leading that office, a job that she just kind of ascended to within the last year. Yeah, and it, it was a very interesting role. It is yeah. a family office that is targeted at this captive clientele, which is the extremely wealthy executives yeah, I think currently that would be like a Goldman. plum gig, right? And the yeah. alumni, yeah. It, and, and Lisa Opoku, someone who was well regarded, had many senior roles at the firm. So in some ways, it is a bit of a blow to lose her. But again, they will tell you it's a deep bench. But in the last four days, we've seen at least five partners uh, depart. And the broader context here is, it is very clear to anyone observing the firm, anyone talking to the executives at the firm, that there is this air of discontent that has settled over Goldman Sachs. Yeah. And it's not really Really clear how that immediately so, dissipates. So I mean, we're putting up some just real quickly some names. Mar Margaret Anadu, we've spoken to Katie Koch, of course, you know, had a reason to leave to go over to TCW. Dina Powell, who knows uh, uh, why. Julian Salisbury, that was the most recent kind of big loss there, Katie. You're not on that list, Katie. No, but, no. Uh, these are some big names here. Yeah, no, yeah. I definitely need to get hired at Goldman first before I can leave. But three is a trend, so I don't know what you call five. What would you expect the response at Goldman to be? What are your sources? is telling you about how this is being received inside the bank. So let's look at the fundamentals. Uh, we are just fresh of an earnings season where Goldman reported pretty bad numbers, just over a billion dollars in profits. However, there is a silver lining there. That is not the regular run rate of Goldman Sachs. It is not going to be that bad in the forward quarters. And there is a reason the stock has actually bounced up after the earnings result, up some 10%, because they hope that there is some clearance in the forward. They have made some very visible and public strategic missteps, and they have promised to clean it up. They are promising to run a cleaner firm. Could have been done a few years earlier, but five years into David Solomon's tenure, at least they have gotten the strategy back on track. That seems to be the consensus among Goldman partners. Yeah. Now it's just a question of, will they remain satisfied with leadership? Will they be happy with the execution track that they're taking? And will they continue to back them? Because that support and loyalty is clearly frayed right mm. now. Is this something that that's only unique to Goldman. I know we pick on them a lot, but I mean, look, anytime you get a lot of turnover at these big firms, particularly for people, like I said, some of these names, they, they've been there for a couple decades. At some point, you just want to see if the grass is greener somewhere else here. Uh, are we seeing similar types of moves elsewhere? Uh, and you're absolutely right yeah. about that, Romain. Let's acknowledge that Goldman as a firm tends to get more attention, and, and it's not just because we're focused on them. Anyone who's an investor, anyone who's in this space, anyone who cares about financial services seems to care about Goldman Sachs a lot. But at the same time, yes, there is churn everywhere else. We've just seen some interesting churn in the most senior ranks, not as aggregate terms. In fact, Goldman will tell you attrition levels when you compare it on a firm-wide level or even across their partner class isn't that bad. But there have been some prominent departures, some names who were plucked out of various positions mm -hmm. and were on the ascent, clearly marked out as the next generation of leaders who've been leaving. And that's been the surprising aspect here. 